Ida for mentioning the security camera in a review of an Airbnb. I stayed at an Airbnb while on a road trip to move across the county. We did not want to fly during a global pandemic and this place was heavily disinfected in between guests. When my fiancé and I arrived we were surprised to find security cameras in the kitchen and living room. I assumed that having a security camera would be against Airbnb's policy but apparently they allow security cameras only if they are clearly visible, located in common areas, and disclosed to guests before booking. Upon reviewing the listing, we did see that they had disclosed that there would be security cameras, but the information was buried at the bottom of the page and it wasn't clear that the cameras were inside the Airbnb. B. We had a good stay otherwise, but the security cameras made us feel uncomfortable. I'm aware this feeling isn't totally rational but it did negatively impact our experience. I'm sure the hosts don't spend all of their time watching the cameras but it did make us feel like we were being watched. This was reflected in our review. We gave them 5 stars, wrote about all the great things about their place, and in the last sentence said there were security cameras in the kitchen and living room. Only one other review out out of hundreds mentioned it and I thought prospective guests who would also be made uncomfortable by security cameras should be warned. However, after I posed my review the host contacted me and expressed that she thought I should not have mentioned the cameras in my review. It was not my intention to hurt her business but my feelings are that if it's Airbnb's policy that the cameras be disclosed then it shouldn't be an issue for me to mention it in the review. Ita? NTA as an Airbnb renter I definitely appreciate a review like this. The owner had it buried and she knew it. NTA. All you wrote was there were security cameras in the kitchen and living room. Yes. A statement of fact is not an insult. And I would appreciate it if I saw that in a review. The host wants the camera. That comes with less customers. If they are unhappy about that, they can just take the camera down. NTA, not only were you right to point this out but the host should be doing a better job of fully disclosing this. Many people would be uncomfortable staying in a home with inside security cameras and they should know about them before they make the decision to book this place. Now this is why the hosts are upset Hop mentioned it. They do not want to fully disclose it. Gross. NTA and this kind of thing is why Airbnb has blind reviews, until host and guest both review you don't see what's been said so they can't alter theirs if they didn't like what you said about them. We have had similar issues and always mentioned them in reviews because it is a review based system and you want to trust how the reviewers have been honest. That's why I always read the lowest reviews in addition to the best ones. Ita for not letting my brother and his wife come to my wedding after he kicked me out. I, male 25, currently live alone and work as a mechanic. Both my parents are deceased. I have an older brother who took me in after my parents house was taken and it was absolutely difficult phase. I was working at auto shop and was demanded to pay for food slash household stuff for my brother and his wife so I could continue to live with them. I couldn't save enough money to move out and it got worse. My life turned upside down when I was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma at the local community hospital. At first several doctors could not identify the type of cancer I had. Unsure of what to do I was referred to a specialist which required me to pay X amount of money. I stopped working cause I was too weak. My brother's wife completely ignored what I was going through and started complaining about me being at their house and not helping. She kept trying to turn my brother against me and he ended up getting into a huge argument with me while I was undergoing chemotherapy for the second month and I was kicked out by my brother who claimed my condition was my own problem and he had no obligation to take care of an adult, just his kids. I was a complete mess. A friend of mine took me in. He was confused by my brother's actions and lack of empathy he had to be treating me like this in my darkest days. Relatives weren't present as much as I hoped for them to be. It was an incredibly difficult phase for me. I was mad and frustrated, this affected my treatment and my brother only showed up once at the hospital but gave me nothing. It's been over two years now, my fiancé lives in a 
another town currently taking her end of semester exams. We're getting married on January a relative of mine gave the news to my brother clearly he has been asking about me for a while. And he wanted to come to me several times but I refused to let him. He knew about the wedding and said he and his wife wanted to come. Said he was hurt other people were invited but he wasn't. Pretended that I was being hustled towards him for no reason and said his wife is the one encouraging him to call me and visit right now. Funny she did the opposite while I was struggling. I refused to give him an invitation or even have a talk with him because of much heartache that has been caused already. But I was getting criticism for my stance and was told to forgive and forget. I guess my brother didn't know how serious my condition was as we had this argument while I was beginning my treatment. He actually thought it was okay and that I could handle myself as an adult. He had his own issues and didn't care enough to fix things between us. Instead thought his wife was right about me. NTA. Cancer treatment is one of the hardest things you can go through. Your brother's wife to get mad that you aren't helping around the house. Chemo takes everything out of you. And then for your brother to take her side and kick you out. No, absolutely not the asshole. Sorry they did that to you and I do not blame you one bit for not inviting them to your wedding. I've already moved on from them and the way they treated me like I was a burden on their shoulders. My brother is known to be weak and let others influence him. His wife has an incredible amount of control over him and he has no problem doing what she says. I have a reason on to believe she had a huge part in driving a wedge between us and caused all those arguments by constantly pouring poison in his ear. Forgive and forget are the words that people who have never been in that situation throw around because they simply can't comprehend the gravity of what happened. If him and the wife wasn't taking money from you, you would have been able to save up and get yourself a place of your own. But no, they sucked you dry, then literally left you to die. No. No they don't get to act like the victim here. TBH, I would tell the whole story to the relatives. If they still can't understand where you're coming from, and continue to give you shit about it, I'd go as far as uninviting them too. NTA, stand your ground. You've made it through so much, this is nothing smile. NTA. He wasn't interested in the hard bit of being a brother, he can't just enjoy the party part. Ha ha ha. Anyone who's supporting your brother can go and shove a Carolina Reaper up their anal sphincter. And then eat it. Repeat. NTA. Ita for not kicking out my nephew to let my sister move in. I, 35M, own my house. The layout of the house is important. The basement is a mother-in-law's suite, a medium bedroom, a living area and a small kitchenette along with its own full bathroom. It has its own entrance. The first floor is the kitchen, dining room, and a great room, powder room and a mud room connecting to the garage. The upstairs is the master bedroom with a master bath and massive walk-in closet. There are two more bedrooms along with a bathroom and a laundry area. One of the bedrooms upstairs I have turned into my office. I am currently working from home full-time. In April my nephew Alec, M20, came home from college because of current events. Alec is the oldest of six kids and my sister, F37, has a bad habit of making him take care of his younger, M10, F8, M6, M6, F3, siblings. He reached out to me and I let him move into the mother-in-law suite. He has been living with me since then and we have had no issues. He does not pay rent, nor do I want him to. A couple of weeks ago my youngest sister, 29F, came over. She and her husband are having financial problems since her husband lost his job. She has two children, 6M, 4F. She asked if they could move in with me for a while. I told her that I didn't think it would work because I only have one empty bedroom, and I don't think that four people would fit very well. She said that she figured she and her family would move into the mother-in-law suite in the basement. I told her no, that was my nephew's area. Well, she started throwing a fit about that, about how she needed room and he didn't. I didn't budge. I knew what was coming next, so I spoke with Alec. 
telling him what his aunt asked and telling him it was his decision whether or not to give up his space. Sure enough she went to talk to him and he told her he didn't want to move upstairs. She started ranting about what an entitled asshole he was and more. I should say that my youngest sister, let us call her Anne, has always been jealous of Alec. His mom was just 17 when she had him, so of course she was still living at home. Anne was the baby of the family, until he was born. She was jealous of him since the day he was born. After she calmed down she said fine, they would take my bedroom, using the walk-in closet as a bedroom for the kids. I said no to that, and also to giving up my office. Well, she started ranting about how I never help her and basically just yelling at me. I told her that I was not throwing Alec out of what we both think of as his space for her. And stormed out and starting complaining to our family. My oldest sister, Alec's mom, thinks that Alec should move back with her and Anne should get the mother-in-law suite. My mom agrees with her. I told them all that they don't get to vote on what happens with my house. Now they are all saying that Alec and I are both assholes for not helping Anne. I think they are ridiculous but I thought I would post here for outside opinions. Later. NTA, your home, your sanctuary, your choice. It doesn't sound like you'll want the drama your youngest sister brings anyways. If mom and older sis are so concerned, they can open up their homes. You obviously have a comfortable setup with your nephew, in which neither of you end up being used by anyone else unlike what it sounds like the rest of the family dynamic is running on, and I don't blame you for wanting to keep the peace you've got. NTA, your house, your rules. It's insane that your sister's argument is you're not helping the right family member by offering a place to live. Letting a family with minor children live with you is far more disruptive than a single college student. If your mother and other sister want to help her so much, they can open their homes. Right. We have no idea who well behaved those kids are. So whether it's the suite or part of the main house upstairs they could cause a really big disturbance. Also, I'm curious if one of the reasons the sister wants to move in is so she can use the nephew and brother as free child care. You know, the kind that's like hey I need to do errands and can't take the kids can you please watch them then leave the house dot and expect you to just deal with it. NTA, your house your choice. It's as simple as that. Would it be nice of you to shake up Alec and your lives to let her family move in? Of course. It's also super nice of you to let Alec live there in the first place. You are not the family hotel. And your choice to be one doesn't make you an asshole, at all. It's quite literally none of your mom or sister's business what you choose to do with your home. Even Alec is only there by your choice. None of them have any innate right to your space. Anne and Alec do not get along. Anne has been jealous of Alec since he was born and she's shown it. Alec knows how she feels and doesn't care for her either. My guess, and I haven't asked him, is that if it had been someone else besides Anne he might have decided to move upstairs. NTA, it's your house and so you can do whatever you like with it. It's not your fault for your younger sister's problems and she's not entitled to anything of yours. Why doesn't she stay with your parents? Why does it have to be you and not anyone else? Or even her husband's family? My mom does a two empty bedrooms currently, but Anne and my mom have a difficult relationship. However I agree that living with my mom would be a possibility.